efficiency is always key when you want to race a solar car. I mean, it was the first victory for us as a club. And how far we can actually go with today's technology. We understood that reliability is really key for solar cars. It brought us so much closer together in those stressful situations. It is still a solar car that we built, so always anything can happen with those cars. Uh, so we have a season of two years, we can divide in two parts. We first have the development phase and afterwards we have the testing and racing phase. In the middle of the development phase we have the Illumin European Solar Challenge and the Italian Solar Challenge, so two solar car races in Europe. And this is also what this documentary is going to be about. We raced those races with our old car, the Covestro Photon. And uh, when those races will be done, we then start with the manufacturing process where we are going to build the Sonnenwagen 4, which will be taking around about half a year. Afterwards, we're going to test this car a lot, first in Europe and then afterwards in Australia. We're then going to be with the Sonnenwagen 4 and racing for the Ridge Zone World Solar Challenge. The Solar Challenge Morocco was our last race um, and we, we unfortunately had a crash in the scrutineering for the Solar Challenge Morocco and uh, spent the whole night fixing the car to get race ready in the, ne uh, the next morning. And with a new team we started the season um, checking, checking the Covestro Photon again and uh, fixing everything properly that we, that we couldn't fix in the time given in Morocco. Um, we, we mainly fixed the, the carbon structure uh, properly, rebuilt part of the outer shell and um, while the structure was at work we already started improving the Covestro Photon for the upcoming races. My name is uh, Felix Ruschka, I study automation engineering at RWTH Aachen and my job at Sonnenwagen Aachen is technical lead. Uh, I have to ensure that uh, all technical departments work together and uh, I have to manage the development of the new car. So my name is Clemens Odenal and I study sustainable energy supply at RWTH Aachen University. And at Sonnenwagen I'm the head of marketing, so my job is to really explain the world what we're doing at the club and what is really possible with today's technology already and why it's so important to do the work we're doing. Um, hi, my name is Lina, I'm a student here at RWTH Aachen studying material science engineering and I'm back for another season of Sonnenwagen. Um, I'm the team manager now, uh, working really closely together with team leaders such as Clemens and Felix, making sure that our long-term goals are achieved and that we're building the best Sonnenwagen ever. When the season started, we only had six months to get the Covestro Photon uh, ready and into race config because we wanted to leave ourselves uh, two months um, of testing uh, prior to the races. So while the Photon might have looked exactly the same in, as compared to Morocco, on the inside it changed entirely. We introduced a whole new battery for the European Solar Challenge um, as well as parts of the motor that we exchanged. And that was no easy task at all. For example, parts of the battery were simply stuck at the port in Shanghai and it wasn't clear whether they were going to make it on time. And it took seven attempts to build a motor that met our expectations in time for the European Solar Challenge. In the past races, we understood that reliability is really key for solar cars. So the goal of our preparations and of our testing was to make the Covestro Photon as reliable as possible and to iron out any remaining bugs. For testing we've set ourselves the goal of driving 600 kilometers and two times eight hours uh, straight on, on a racetrack without any technical problems. And in the end the races showed that we really achieved our goals in building a reliable solar car, the Covestro Photon. So after changing any parts of the solar car, of course, you have to do a lot of tests again to really see if everything is working as it should be, theoretically. So first you do really slow tests and we did that in two different places in Aachen to just test components really slow. And when that happened, um, then you can start driving faster, which we did. 
and you can really push the car to the limits and see how it is if it drives at race config. So after everything worked out in Aachen very, very well, we then were allowed to go to Circuit Zolda, which is actually the race circuit where the European Solar Challenge will take place on. So it was a really important testing for us because we were allowed for two days to test on the racetrack in race config for the race upcoming. On the first day in Solda we had uh, massive problems with our motor and our inverter and unfortunately testing was not really possible and we had to push back the car into the pit box after just half a lap. This was very frustrating for us because we, we wasted a whole day of testing in Soldar, um, but we were eager, eager to push on and um, did overnight fixes, worked on the car, swapped components and the second testing day in Solda was luckily successful. If you want to be a solar car driver for the Carrestro Photon, it is really about understanding every component of the Carrestro Photon, because efficiency is always key when you want to race a solar car. For that reason, you have to learn how to take the perfect corners on a racetrack, for example, and we had the great opportunity to actually go with professional drivers on go-kart trainings, and our potential drivers were then allowed to really get the theory into practical testing and see how good they're driving on a racetrack and what they can improve to perform even better in the Caresto photo. I think for me it was the final testing in Altenhoven where I truly realized how reliably the Photon is now driving. It was really satisfying to see um, after all the hard work we put in since Morocco. And I think I speak for a lot of the team from 2021 uh, when I say that for me it was so satisfying to see the Photon drive as reliably as it did then and I think at that point it was truly ready for the European Solar Challenge.